Welcome back to the channel, everyone. We're the Whiskey Watchers. I'm Dan. I'm Jake. And uh, Jake, it's review time again, buddy. <gasps> what are we reviewing? I got a special one. One second. Got to get on the shelf here. And uh, yeah, that one. Larceny. Barrel proof? We're on the Heaven Hill kick, bud. I know. And uh, this A1s. one's going to be good. Yeah, we're, we're on the A1s, even though it's 2 Next up, steak sauce. <laughs> Who in the hell... In the middle of the Civil War, decided, you know what this country needs? A delicious steak sauce. A damn good steak sauce. Someone who's really smart, because, I mean, it's lasted this long. It, it has. It has lasted this long. I'll give him the credit for it. Um, you know what we hope lasts super long? What's that? The thief on Wine, Beer, and Spirits. May their store ever stand in Walla Walla as a beacon to those who need libations. And uh, we want to thank them. For the support of this channel. And um, for our libations. For our libations, yes. We uh, do appreciate it. So if you're ever up in Walla Walla, check them out. The Thief Fine Wine Beer and Spirits. They'll give you a high five. Yes. That one was ultra crispy. We're not fixing that one in post. Anyway. You might not have even seen it. It was so high up there. <laughs> anyway. Uh, we're on a Heaven Hill kick. Larceny Barrel Proof releases just like Elijah Craig Barrel Proof three times a year. A, B, and C. And just like Elijah Craig Barrel Proof... We don't see it before like February or March. Yeah. But what's the proof on this one? 125.8. Sun. Yeah. They're loving the 120s right now. And I'll tell you, I haven't been a huge fan of the of the Larceny line um, lately, especially the barrel proofs. But the only ones I've tried were the original batches in the 20s and the 21s. I can't say that I've ever tried Larceny barrel proofs. I hear proof. they, they've, uh, they've turned a corner. So this is their weeded mash bill. So it's basically so. Maker's Mark? That's... Think old, think old Fitzgerald. So it's old Fitzgerald except Heaven Hill. And cast strength. Oh, well, there you go. Well, old Fitzgerald is Heaven Hill anyway. Yeah. But anyway, uh, pause for uh, paper noises. Plastic noises. This one didn't have very many plastic noises. Pork Perf pop, maybe? Perforation was really good. One sec, let's do this. Hey. Oh, that was a good one. Is that a real cork or fake? This is a real cork, baby. Yes. Real cork. I don't know. Matt pulls away. It's got me on the smell you, of the cork kick. You have something in the bottom of your glass from when we were uh, warming up a minute ago. You might want to clear. No, I got out. a little bit. One second. I had to clear out the warm up. You know what I think I do too. So, Larceny Bro Proof A123 Fresh Crack Review. I'm excited about this one because I've heard they've really turned the corner with these, and uh, and they've gotten a lot better. I know the the 20s and the I 21s were super super hot. Um, I didn't necessarily enjoy them as much, so we're going to see where they are now Now that they've hit the uh, Sorry, Cody. Well, the 23s. So, what was that? Good Lord! <laughs> that was like a... You know, you want to talk about a, the bottle singing? There it was. <laughs> That's like a freaking five-year-old falling caught. off of a jungle gym or something. That's a bottle sing right there. Yeah, that was. That was the Shania Twain of bottle sings. Dun, dun. I'm not going to do it anymore. Anyway, but... Uh, let's uh, let's get into this. Ooh. Ooh. Man, why does that smell so sweet? That is just sweet, sweet vanilla. I got a... Oh, man. Um. Fix the old, yeah, old, no kidding. the old schnoz here. Are we being lied to? I don't know. There's something different in that. I, it's got to be the wheat, but I mean, I don't. I, it doesn't I smell like, like a normal wheat that I've smelled. You know what I mean? I like this nose. I like this nose a lot. It's super it's sweet. It's like sour toffee. Sour toffee? Are you on crack? It might have been what was in your glass beforehand. I don't know. He was drinking Michter's Sour Mash. No, it was Michter's Bourbon. It was Michter's Bourbon? Well, yeah. still, he was drinking Michter's Bourbon. But, but no, here, smell this. Yeah, I was going to say, let me smell see, your cup. See if that one's a little bit better. It's same thing minus the sour, so I mean, yeah. Yeah, it's probably the mixtures in yeah. it. Yeah. So, sorry. <laughs> anyway, I love the nose on this. It's super, super bright, super fruit forward. Mm -hmm. A lot of vanillas, a lot of caramels, um, a little bit of oak on the back end. Is that a fruit cake in my but cup? It's, but it's not getting like that, that barrel char that the Elijah Craig had. Here's hoping it's on the note on the on the taster though. Yeah, I, I do like a little bit of barrel. 
in my barrel proofs. So with that, down the hatch, bud. Cheers. You get the barrel char. You get the barrel. So that's nice. Compliments the nose perfectly. I think you like it. That's not bad. That is so much better than the uh, the 20s and the 21s that I have. The uh, the vanilla, the caramel, and all the sweetness kind of comes through to the palate. It leaves behind those berries, though. I don't get the berries. Like those bright, like jammy mm -hmm. notes. I don't get those as much. Oh, no. That's overpowered by the barrel at this point, I think. Oh, man. But it is tasty. It's like, not as drying as the Elijah mm, Craig either. Maybe some dark red cherries on the back end. Like, it's very faint, but I got it there. Mm. Yeah, there's a little bit of fruit there on the back end. Mm. So... Larceny Barrel Proof, unlike Elijah Craig, I don't think there's an age statement on these. <sighs> there is not an age statement on these. But, seeing as I believe the Old Fitz Decanter line is coming to an end this year, um, that's speculation now from what I hear, but I believe they only have two more releases left. So We're all of start that whiskey seeing... is going to start that's possibly feeding into this. We're going to start seeing those 12-year well Larceny their, Barrel Proof releases. Uh, as well as their uh, Heritage Collection as well that they release once a year. The Parkers? No, the Heritage Collection. So the Heritage Collection was the 17-year um, Barrel Strength, and then this year is the 20-year Mellow Corn. Yeah. If the, I knew it wasn't going to be so, so expensive. <laughs> well, if you get it at the distillery, it's not bad. It's actually around 275 Because the inch. Which uh, I know is, is crazy, like... <gasps> That's a lot of money, but... Can I try it? That's yeah, all I want to do. <laughs> Can we make this like a Starlight I Cigar want a release where they're just milk. greeting you with, with samples? Thanks. No, I'm good. I just came for the sample. <laughs> but anyway, back to this, though. This is this is actually really, really tasty. I like this. Um, like you said, the, um, the the jamminess and like the, the bright red fruits that you get on the nose don't really translate to the palates, but they do show up on the, on the finish. Uh, as just a little bit of a reminder that, hey, we're still here. Um, we're just kind of overtaken by a little bit of barrel. It's like Elton John said, I'm still standing. I'm still standing. That's right. Yeah, Better yeah, than I've yeah. ever been. Really, really good song. If you don't know Elton John, go, go check him out, man. If you, if you do, drop a like on this video for Elton John. Everyone loves Elton John. If you've ever listened to Stand by Eminem, you probably know who Elton John is. Yeah, for sure. So speaking of liking the video, you've made it this far. So why aren't you subscribed? Go ahead and click that button down below and uh, get subscribed to the channel. We're definitely worth it. I think we're entertaining. I think we're funny, but, you know, I'm biased, so. <laughs> That's just us. But anyway, so the finish Sub. on this one is, to me, it's like, it's it's medium. It's better than the Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. The Elijah Craig Barrel Proof just kind of went bang. Yeah, it was all, 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 and then nothing And then just kind of fell off. Um, this one's still kind of sticking with me. It's not super, super long, but at the same time, um, it is still there. So it gets it gets my mouth watering a little bit. That's yeah. kind of nice. Yep, instead of the drying tannicness yeah. of the Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. So judging this one solely on its own, um, what are you on this one, Jake? Are you a purchase, you a pour, or you a pass on this one? I'm stingy. I'm, I'm a pour, and then if you <laughs> like it, always go for the purchase. Yep. So this one coming in at an MSRP of around seventy five dollars uh, in our nice. area. I've seen stores selling it for as much as a hundred. So it's it's basically about the same time as it's, it's around the same price point of Elijah Craig Grill Proof in our area. Um, again, reminder pricing really really based on regionality in a lot of instances. Big box stores like Meyer Sam's Club, we've seen it as low as like sixty. It's but ridiculous, and they're gone so so they're fast. Gone so fast, but anyway. Um, I'm a pour on this one as well. Um, it's not really blowing my mind enough to make me just blind buy it, um, even though, well, I kind of did. But, you know, content we want to inform you. I informed you? We want to keep you informed and inform you of uh, wise whiskey purchasing habits. So, anyway. Don't commit larceny. <laughs> yeah, don't commit larceny, much like, you know, John E. Fitzgerald. Yes. Anyway. That's going to be a review from us. We are the Whiskey Watchers. Again, remind you, 
to like, comment, subscribe on this video. We really appreciate it. It helps the channel grow. And until we drink again, guys, I'm Dan. I'm Jake. Reminding you to share a pour with your friends and family, because much like the movies, memories don't make themselves. <laughs> <laughs>